Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're going to be working on rounding numbers. I've got some really easy ways to think about it and some great strategies for you. So let's dig in. All right, so the first thing I want to start with is this really good illustration that helps me get started with thinking about rounding and the rules of rounding and all of the strategies. So here's my hill that I'm starting with 10 and it goes up the hill. At the very top of the hill is my halfway mark. So we're gonna talk about that. And then at the end of the hill is 20. So the first thing I wanna ask you is what is that halfway mark? What's halfway between 10 and 20? Okay, great, you got it, it's 15. My halfway marks are always gonna have a five in there somewhere. You're gonna see as we do more activities, that there's always gonna be a five in there. Okay, so if we can pretend like we're driving a car and we're starting at 10 and we're driving up, driving up that hill and let's say we run out of gas right at the 14. What do you think would happen? So we didn't get up to the top of the hill, we ran out of gas right at the 14. Okay, good, if we ran out of gas, we would roll back to 10, and that's gonna go along with some of our rounding that we do. So 14 would round down to 10. Okay, then let's say we try again, and we start at the 10, we're driving up that hill, we get past the 15, and we run out of gas at the 18 mark. What do you think would happen then? Okay, you got it. We would roll up to the 20. So we would round from 18 up to 20. And it kind of makes sense because 18 is closer to 20. You know, we wouldn't want to round it all the way back down to the 10. It's a lot closer to the 20. So that hill kind of helps me think about that. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is what happens if we're driving up from 10 up the hill and then we run out of gas right at 15. What do you think? Okay, well, I bet you had all sorts of guesses. Um, and we're gonna talk about the rounding rules to really make sense of this. But we're gonna just go ahead and say for the hill that if you are up at the top, it would be really easy to just push the car a little bit so you can go ahead and keep going to 20. All right, now let's look at another example with a little bit bigger number. So we're gonna have a hill that goes from 100 to 200. So remember that first thing to always do before we think of a number to round is just to get that halfway point labeled. So what is halfway between 100 and 200? And remember that there's always gonna be a five in there somewhere. All right, you got it, it's 150. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can round um, to the nearest 100 this time. Uh, let's try 183. So first thing to do is just to locate that on the hill or number line. And it doesn't have to be perfectly in the right spot. Um, just get it around where you think 183 would go. Okay, great. Now, what do you think? We can pretend like we're in the car again, starting at 100, driving up the hill. Okay, we made it past the halfway point, and now we're at 183, and we run out of gas. Oh no, what's gonna happen? All right, great, you can roll to 200. It's closer to 200 than it is to 100. Great job. All right, so now we need to talk a little bit about some rounding rules that are just really good to know. Sometimes you're not gonna feel like drawing a hill every time you're rounding something. And so we have some rules that will really help you to round a little quicker. So here are the rules. When you're looking at a number, 
and let's say we're rounding to the nearest hundred. Okay, so we're going to want to underline the hundred and circle the place value right next to it. So the tens. So we're going to circle the tens and those tens are going to tell us what to do with that hundred. Are we going to round up? Are we going to stay at that? And so here are the rules. I like to say it in a chant and then it helps me any place value I'm rounding to, I can do this every time. So here's the chant. It's zero to four, stay on the floor. Five to nine, go up the line. All right, let's take a look at these examples over here. And I want you to try to round them to the nearest hundred. Try it out and we'll check your work. All right, here you go. Great job. I hope you learned a lot today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this strategy of the hills and the cars can really help you get into rounding more. And I hope this helps you this year in your math class or at home. Bye.